Hey guys, there's been a few of you requesting this one, and as promised, I'm making it today. Um, this is going to be how you get the command console up in game, and how I was flying in the video I made where I was doing some fancy shots with music, and in the multiplayer video I put up recently with Bill and Laz. First of all, I recommend you download an a little program called Notepad++ makes it ten times simpler. You can do it in Notepad if you prefer, but it's easier doing it in Notepad++. Google that, you'll find it. For To get to the file you need, that is game XML file. This is for the Steam version, but very similar steps for the typical farming simulator bought on a disk. C, your main hard drive effectively, program files, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Farming Simulator 2013. Pretty much the same if you go in for the CD, only difference is it'll probably instead of Steam it'll be Giants, I guess, than Farming Simulator. More simpler. You open up game. Now this has already been done for me. And it's very simple, you look under development, controls, yours will say false, then controls again. Change it to true, like mine is there. Hit exit, it will say do you want to save, you click yes. Now I will warn you, from my testing, since I've done this, I have not been able to take it back. I've recently had to uninstall um, Farmer Simulator and reinstall it and it's still been there. Now I don't know what's causing this, it's just a word of warning. It also wipes out, for some known reason, the F1 capability of finding out help notes on the controls for the certain implements. That's a really annoying for me, because where I play the game for a bit, then don't play it for a while. I tend to forget it quite a lot. So it's a win, and not so win on that one. It can be irritating. Now, I'm not sure and I've not figured out how you get that back and how you stop having the console once you select it. It's something I need to do a bit more digging so you do this on the understanding that you will not be able to get it back. I have no idea how you do it. Then you load up the game and I will pause it here because loading in with all the mods I have can take a little while on some of the maps. Wow guys, the first half of the video was okay. I uploaded it, and then someone commented saying it went black. I realised why I used two different programs. Fraps is a pain in the ass to record um, screenshots of your main desktop screen if you want. Like in game, it's beautiful; it can work fine without having to piss around with it. I forgot that one, so I'm going to carry on from where I did last time. You've got a key underneath escape, left of number one. I'm not saying what it is, because I'm not too sure on the British keyboards or the UK keyboards. The American keyboards are different, and the UK ones are different. They both have got different styles where stuff's laid out. But you hit that key, you'll get the console up, as you can see. Then if you hit it again, and hit tab, you can scroll through a load of the commands. Now I will put in the... Uh, links for the wiki and a page that I found on FSUK yesterday that explains basically what I've explained in the video. That one there is the one you need to pay attention to. Get it so it's easier to read. That's the one that you fly and you get rid of your HUD. I'll just cycle through so you can see them all. I'll quickly cycle through to the rear, the one we want. You hit enter for the one you want, so it's set it to true. Then you just hit the key left of the one underneath escape, and that'll go. Now to activate, fl activate flying, you hit J, then it is your Q key to go up, and your E to go down. And if you want to get rid of the HUD, I'll just 
jump into a tractor so you can see. Heads up. You hit O and it goes. For example, I tend to use it. I'm still flying. There we go. I tend to use it in this tractor a lot. It's got a real nice um, cabin view. You've got the RPM. You haven't got speed, but to me, speed isn't really too, too important. The fuel gauge works and this thing. Awesome. More mods like this would be great for making it more realistic, sort of no HUD or anything. And if you want the HUD, it's there for you. Like I state in the first part of the video, I'm pretty sure, that you do lose the capability, again I'll demonstrate, of the F1 for help. I don't know why, I don't know if there's a way of getting this back. Also, I'll just go over another thing, is I'm not sure how you stop the console working in the way I showed you before. I've tried that and for some reason it still works. I've also recently I've had to do an uninstall again, I mentioned this in the first part of the video. I reinstalled it and it still does it. So I don't know if there's a file that makes a backup somewhere. I've never really looked for it because in some respects it doesn't bother me too much. It's kind of annoying but it doesn't bother me too much. So you will lose that feature. I do not know how to get back so if you need that Sorry, can't help you. You're on your own on that one. But I hope it helps. I hope you enjoy. Sorry for the balls up before. This should be fine and work nice. Catch you guys later.